Dr. Dan Skinner is heading to D.C. He'll be part of a workshop to help come up with solutions. He says for the American Medical Association and American hospitals, the real concern... Not necessarily what this will mean for the delivery of care, but for jobs and for job growth within the healthcare sector, for hiring new doctors. If Congress leads us off that cliff, it could be the place just around the corner that's affected. Health centers like this that could see major cuts in federal funding. Everyone's paying attention. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Tim Horan runs health centers, which could see cuts. We may lose a position. We may lose a nurse practitioner. We may not be able to fill a position that's currently vacant. Uh, we rely on uh, federal dollars, state dollars, local dollars to, to be able to function. Dr. Jeffrey Marable says they have enough to worry about with the implementation of the Affordable Care Act. Now it's the fiscal cliff. Whatever happens, this should be about solutions. The real question is, how do we create a health care system that becomes more efficient? Good question. There are many answers, but we've narrowed it down to a few key points on reducing health care spending. Cut down on all the unnecessary testing. Reward health care institutions for the results rather than the amount of care they provide. And empower patients with full knowledge of their options. Do this, and they tend to choose the least costly. Two other key solutions reduce Medicare fraud and move from sick care to preventative care models. As for the potential cuts... And by definition, Medicaid is not part of the current negotiations. Though some fear that may change once a flurry of cuts is unleashed. Another worry is military health care once defense spending is slashed. As the nation nears the cliff, the message to Congress is clear. Get your act together, yes, and let's get this figured out. People want Congress to handle their business and to be able to come to some sort of consensus. Which may happen, because the thing about the fiscal cliff... Most people who look at it practically from a political perspective know it's not going to happen because the political stakes are too high. In Columbus, Mike Kallmeyer.